The new Gmail is out today on Dotto Tech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more. More what? <laughs> Messing with your cats always a good way to spend time. Gmail has finally released the, or Google has finally released the new version of Gmail that we've been waiting for for oh so long. A brand new interface design, which is really the old interface just kind of simplified and designed, they following this, what they call flat design metaphor, which is quite appealing and nice to look at, similar to what the release of the new release of Google Calendar that we saw a little while back is. Now, they're telling us there's maybe 14 or 18 features that are pretty profoundly different in this version of Gmail. But I'm going to concentrate on the five features that I think are going to have the most impact on my life and probably on your life as we take a look at it. Now, when you first, oh, first of all, this is how you invoke the new version if it's already, if you're still in that, in that space where you haven't yet started using the new version of Gmail. You just go under the settings tab. Uh, under that the gear menu, and there you can tell it, ask it to uh, to run the new version of Gmail. Now, if you, at any time you don't want to run the new version of Gmail, and once you invoke that, it's got to go kind of through this relaunch process that'll take a few seconds for it to do. But if at any time you don't want, uh, you want to go back to the old version because you're nostalgic or this isn't working for you, you can just choose to go back to classic Gmail. They call it classic right now, uh, and you can, you can go back right here. So. Overall, when you look at the screen, it's going to look remarkably similar to the old version with some profound differences. Now, the first difference you're going to see is obviously the kind of the flat design, which makes it simpler, uh, a little more, a little more aggressive badging as far as things go with like how they tell us there's new emails in all of your different categories. But the biggest first difference you're going to see is this difference here is when you roll your mouse over top of any of your messages you're going to gain access to some controls right within uh, right within the uh, the inbox or right within whichever box or uh, whichever category you happen to be in here on the right hand side you can directly archive delete uh, mark as read or snooze an email right from this location. Now this, you used to have to open an email in order to do these sorts of things before or you had you had to select it and then you could have tabs across the top where you could do, or uh, selections along the top where you could do these features. But now they're built into each email. So you can do your email triage. Now you can go through all of your emails that are in your inbox much more quickly as a result of this. For example, this one here, this is a uh, press release that I'm not interested in and I'm gonna delete it. See, just like that, done. Working my way through it. Uh, this snooze feature is, in my mind, I actually had it listed as the number one Thing right there, number one on my list of things because I think it's an awesome feature. Uh, I used to use another piece of software called Boomerang in order to do this. What happens is this. This email comes in. It's something that I want to deal with, but I don't want to deal with it right now. I want to deal with it tomorrow or in an hour or in three days when I have the rest of the information that's related to it. But the challenge is that we've now got a piece of email in our inbox, which is slowly going to be you know, pushed down towards the horizon. And I'm afraid that I might miss it in the future if, if, I, if I don't do something with it right away. But I'm not ready to do something with it right away. So the tool Boomerang and several other apps would take that email, pull it, kind of pull it back into cyberspace and have it hold there and then re-deliver it as a fresh message in your inbox when you were ready for it. This snooze feature does the exact same thing. And this can be a great addition to your productivity sequence. You choose snooze. When do I want this? I want this to arrive later today. Let's put this in for tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So now it's gone. That email just disappeared and tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. it's going to reappear in my inbox as a fresh message. So then I can deal with it. And you could of course customize the time that it's going to go come back to you. You can actually pick a date and time here uh, in the bottom if you want to be more specific than their presets. The snooze feature in my mind is just a totally awesome addition and it's one that had to happen uh, because people were buying or, or licensing other applications like Boomerang just for that feature. Now Boomerang does other things but that snooze now is built in. Now they've taken another thing which is it's, uh, a feature that is built into uh, there, the Google app on the smartphone, it's something called smart replies. Now you'll see that when you open an email, when you open an email that Google reads 
your email and it figures out the most likely reply that you might want and allows you to choose it. So here a person had accidentally sent me an email, they didn't mean to bother me with it again, which is all fine. I can just say, no problem, thanks, or no worries, thanks for the update, just like that. And it then allows me to very quickly acknowledge an email coming in and send a reply. Now it's always interesting to look at what the auto replies are that they create for you, but they call it smart replies and it's uh, it's built into the smartphone. It's built into your 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 the 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 mobile version and now we have that built in to the desktop version as well. It's pretty good. I don't I don't hate it. Don't necessarily love it, but don't hate it. Um this I do love. This is this is this is one part that you're really going to enjoy. Here on the right hand side now we have a sidebar where we can add additional functionality to Gmail right within the browser. We can get to our calendar instantly where we can bring up our calendar in the sidebar so we can see exactly what's happening on the day. And so we have nicer integration between the calendar and the app. Because often you're in Gmail, if somebody says something about a date, uh, you, so you have to jump to another entire pane or another tab in your browser window to look at the to look at your calendar. No more. It's now integrated into the into the overall layout. Uh, winner that one is indeed. As well, you can now incorporate Google Keep the exact same way. So you can see all of your Google tasks and your 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 Google sorry all of your Google Keep notes all integrated within the window. And you can also incorporate Google Tasks, uh, which is something that I haven't started to use yet. We're going to start preparing. I'm going to try out Google Tasks because they've really I think it's far more functional now that it's built here into the email client. Um, but they, you can actually, if you are using Google Tasks, you have the option here as well. Plus, oh yes indeed, this is where it gets really exciting to me anyways. The Google Suite Marketplace means that other app developers can generate add-ons for the sidebar here. And as you go through it, you're going to see a nice list of different productivity and CRM type apps that are all available to us right here, including, yes, wait for it, Trello and Asana. Oh, you might say I am pretty darn excited about having that functionality and we will make sure that we demonstrate how it all fits in in a future video. Ah, just, just awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Next thing, what have I got here? I've done the snooze, I've done the smart reply, I've done the sidebar. Next up, oh, inline attachments. Yes, indeed. So the inline attachments are, uh, you can see here within your emails, you can see the attachments inline right here within the, uh, within the preview window in your inbox. Now you can actually modify that if you choose by going into configure the inbox here, or the display density, sorry. Display density allows you to choose a slightly different view. So you can choose the default view, which is this, a comfortable view, which will actually hide um, and show you kind of the old school attachment notification on the right hand side of the email to see how we have it right there above the, uh, above the inline management tool. Uh, so that is there as well. So that, that gives you that option there. And I think they even have one more. What's the other one there? I haven't even checked it. Let's go, oops, that's not where I want to go. I haven't even checked it. Let's go to display density and go compact. What happens if we go compact? It gets even smaller. Oh, everything gets smaller. Too small for me. Too small. I like the comfortable display. I like comfortable display where I can see the attachments all available to you right there, where you can see all of the attachments available to you. And not just attachments, no, but we can also see Google Docs all integrated here. There's, a, there's an example of a Google Doc right there that's integrated in this email. So again, this just makes it far more functional for you to get access to, uh, to, the, to the attachments or to anything that's built into the email designed to speed up your day, to make you, to make you a little bit more productive. Now we will go into, we're going to go into detail in Gmail in some upcoming videos. We have a few more coming up over the next little while. And we're going to dive into details of going into all of your settings and showing the old and the new of Gmail, getting into the details of how you set it up for multiple accounts, et cetera. But I wanted to touch on these five features that I think are so awesome with the new version of Gmail, starting with the snooze feature that's built in, the snooze feature which we find in our inline management now so we don't have to leave the inbox, that's number two. The inline uh, attachments, feature number three. The sidebar, 
Feature number four and the fifth feature that I think is really cool is the automated replies that are built in to your email now. So that, that's the bulk of the features that are built into the refresh. Now you may have noticed that I left out one feature and that's because I don't have it yet. They tell us that they've got this self-destruct feature which is supposed to be available to us where you, when you go into an email, as you're creating the email, right here in this bar down here in the bottom is supposed to be a little, a little timer which you're supposed to be able to self-destruct an email uh, afterwards. I haven't been able to find how to invoke it. It might not be available in my area yet or rolled out to my account. I don't know what the story is, but that's certainly gonna be worth discussion when we do see it. And if you have it, I'd love to hear your comments about how much you like it in the comments below. While we're speaking about the comments, Comments about what you think about overall, the new version of Gmail, what's missing, what is awesome. Would love to hear your thoughts on it. Now we are gonna be concentrating on Gmail in a series of upcoming videos. We're gonna be doing some basic tutorials on setting up your Gmail for multiple accounts and configuring it to make it work most effectively in your productivity system. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get access to those videos when we release them. So there you have it, the new and improved Gmail. I hope you like it. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. <laughs>